Thanks for coming back to another Q&A. We are going to answer a few very specific questions that I think a lot of you are going to want the answers to, and I wanted to break these out as individual videos to make it easier for you to find. Bob Koss asks, if I shoot in 6K photo mode, how can I pick the images that I want in post? I do not want to do it in the camera, but the video files, quote unquote video files, won't import into Lightroom, and I don't see any images in Photoshop or Premiere Pro. Advice? Well, yes. So here's what's happening. 6K photo mode is H.265. H is HEVC Kodak H.265, which is the next up from H.264. Not that many things shoot in H.265 yet. Uh, it's funny because when we were first talking about this camera, um, the vast majority of the video stuff is all done H.264, but you have a couple of things, 6K photo being one of them. I think it's the only one. Post focus, all the, yeah, all the post focus slash 6K photo stuff is done in H.265. And we had a few people say, you're it, talking like Panasonic, you're idiots, why isn't everything in H.265? Well, <laughs> this is why. Because H.265 support on the computer is not that widely spread. So what happens is you shoot a 6K photo and you get this video file, as he put in quotes, because it is a video file, but it's not with sound. The idea is not to play video, it's to extract a still, and you can't extract a still. Now, if you're shooting with a GH4 or any previous generation Lumix camera, I guess the GH4 doesn't have the 6K, or the 4K, 4K photo mode, but any previous Lumix camera that has 4K photo mode, it shoots to MP4, you bring it in your computer, you open up in Lightroom or Photoshop or anything, you extract the frame, no problem. But suddenly with the GH5, 6K photo and 4K photo in here is shot in H.265 and hardly anything reads it. Unfortunately, until the computer manufacturers and software manufacturers, and this really means Adobe and Apple, they're the key players on this, add full H.265 support, you're gonna have to convert. And so in theory, um, After Effects, if you are an After Effects user, will do the conversion. Uh, uh, no, sorry, not After Effects. Uh, After Effects should too. Um, Media Encoder, that's what I meant to say. Adobe Media Encoder will do the conversion. When you first open up a 6K photo file in Media Encoder, it'll say, oops, need to download the H e HVEC codec. It downloads it, and then it will encode it. The problem is, I've done this a few times. All I ever get is a green box. I don't get any video. So last night, I started poking around a little bit because I know there are third-party H.265 encoders out there. And I came across one which is the gold standard of third-party encoders. It's open source, which is a beautiful thing, and it's Handbrake. So Handbrake will allow you to convert to a video file. Now, I don't know, I haven't played with it enough to know whether it'll let you output just a bunch of stills, so output a thousand JPEGs, uh, but it will absolutely output a video file. So here's what happens. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put this camera into 6K photo mode. And let's see what's gonna happen on the screen here. I don't even know, it doesn't matter. And all right, I'm just going to do a little, am I, oh, I'm in manual focus. Let's get out of manual focus. Okay, and boom. Oh, I keep forgetting. I have mine set to push and hold down, so I've got to do that. Let's do that again. Push and hold down the button. Yay, waving my hand. Okay, and I stop. All right, so I just recorded a couple second long 6K photo. Okay, that's done. Pop this guy out of here. Pop this into the computer. And we'll take a look at how this works. Alrighty, let's go to the Mac. So here's the thing that I just shot. Should be right down here at the bottom. There it is. It's an MP4 file, but it's an H.265. You see, it says cannot be opened. Okay, well, let's just copy this to the desktop here. So there she is. Try and open it. Nope, cannot open with QuickTime Player because there's no H.265 support. So Handbrake, this is the one that you want. Just Google Handbrake, you'll find it. No worries, it's out there. What do, it, uh, yeah, check automatically. So there's the file I just brought in. Open that up. I don't think it's going to give me a preview. Uh, it's just going to do a little, and this is not fast. I got to tell you, this is not a fast process. Uh, the, the fastest way to select your still image out of there is still going to be in camera, but obviously that's only useful as long as the file's still on the camera. So you got to get into the computer. This has got to change soon. I mean, it has to, right? Final Cut, uh, Apple has to add it into the OS. Final Cut's got to have support for it. Premiere's got to, they, they all have to. Um, it just isn't there yet. So, okay, so that's in. You then, uh, let's see here, file, where am I going to put it? Let's put this on the desktop. I'm just going to put um, dash handbrake. And format, you can use MP4, MKV. I don't even know what an MKV is, but we're going to do an MP4. And there's options in here about frame rate and all kinds of stuff. I'm just going to leave it and hit hit start, um, which I don't even know if I've set. I might be scaling it down. I really don't know, but I don't care. I just want to show you that it works. And then you can play around with the settings 
once you download this yourself and see if you can find a better setting for it. Now, this is uh, it's not fast. See, scanning title preview, it's going to take a little while. So uh, this you can batch. I think you can batch. Yeah, I'm sure you can batch in Handbrake. So if you had a bunch of them, throw it at it and go for lunch. Um, but this is what you have to go through until it is added. Even that, I will say that Lightroom, so support for 4K photo files, which is a regular H.264 MPEG but video file, which Lightroom reads, man, I never had good luck with Lightroom in doing this. In Aperture, it worked flawlessly. In Lightroom, for whatever reason, it would always choke. It just the whole system bogs down, and it's like I couldn't get off that video fast enough to get my system back up and running. Really, really weird, but, um, but that was the experience that I had. Okay, this is done. So let's see here. Now we are here. Now here's the file. There is my MPEG file, my MPEG4. So now I can go through and do the 4K, 6K photo thing and choose the frame that I want. So that is how that works. So for now, you need to use a third-party file. I know it's not ideal, but it's what it is today. Hope that helps.